coming together to help a marathon bombing hero. Survivors Jeff Bowman and Officer Dick Donahue were two of the guests at the launch of the charity for Carlos Arredondo. Katie Brace is live at the finish line tonight. And Katie, we know Jeff did address the upcoming verdict in the Sarnayev case. They did, Paula, and this is where it all began, the finish line of the Boston Marathon. And the struggle to move forward from the marathon bombings has really brought people together. And as the jury starts to deliberate, survivors are focusing on each other. Marathon survivor Jeff Bowman walks with intent, excited about what's next. It's awesome having the family and my daughter and my wife. With the marathon bombing trial now in the hands of the jury, Bowman says he's not watching. He only went to the federal courthouse once when he had to testify. I don't really pay attention to it. I mean, I had to go testify and, you know, that was very tough. But he says what was not tough, sitting in the same room as Johar Sarnayev. Well, I had so many other people in the room. Carlos was in the room. Um, you know, my wife was in the room. One of the people he relies on, Carlos Arredondo. The photo of the two became synonymous with the Boston Marathon bombings. Arredondo attended closing arguments. To support each other. These two men reunited at the launch of the Arredondo Family Foundation. Arredondo's son committed suicide after his other son was killed in Iraq. He wants to use his name recognition to help more military families dealing with suicide. We know what we went through and we want to make sure that we going to be there for other families. Yes, in attendance, Officer Dick Donahue, who was injured in the shootout to find Sarnayev. He danced with his son, who also hugged Bowman and Arredondo. They focused on the moment and not how they were brought together. So much good uh, has come, and, um, you know, my life is just filled with joy. The foundation is raising money for scholarships at UMass Boston for military siblings. And this year, five runners will cross the finish line, raising money for the foundation. Point Live in Boston, Katie Brace, WBZ News.